So here's a question. Do you struggle to eat more vegetables? I know a lot of you at home are saying, yes, that's true. I mean, the thought of it turns most people's stomachs. But I think, you know, that's, most, that's the way that most people think. But if you want to have a healthy family and a healthy you as well, you will do very well to find vegetables first on your list of ingredients when you go around shopping. And in fact, Andrea says, this winter, we should all be eating a lot more vegetables. Andrea, why is that? Why should we be eating more vegetables? Vegetables are really good for us. Um, mm. They're packed with nutrients. They can build our immune systems up during winter. Um, they're also good for our digestive systems mm -hmm. and if you, we're watching our weight mm -hmm. and try to prevent those kilos from piling on, vegetables can really bulk up our diets without adding too many calories. Yeah. Now, I mean, the winter in itself is all cold and grey and very boring and uninspiring, but we need to find, I think, creative ways of, crea of incorporating vegetables into our recipes. So what kind of creative things can we do? Well, we'll still show some more recipes like we've been doing, mm -hmm. but just in principle, some tips today I'd like to share. Yes. So let's start with stews. If you think of stew, which ingredients do you oh. picture? Oh, little pieces of, of, of lamb. Yes. Uh, a nice saucy stew, veggies. Uh, I see colors like greens and yellows and reds. Oh. Well, that's exactly what we're striving for. Yes. Um, typically, the easiest veg we add to a stew would be potatoes. Yes. Sometimes you can even use sweet potatoes, and there's nothing wrong with potatoes. Mm -hmm. But um, if you're watching your weight and if you want to increase the nutritional value, mm -hmm. the vitamin content of your stews, yes. try and reduce the starchy veg and rather include these particular ones work wonderfully in stews. Okay. Um, mushrooms, baby marrows or gorgettes, mm -hmm. carrots, onions and butternut. Ooh, okay. All of them, if you cook them, go really soft and stodgy and, and um, taste like starch, yes. but they add a lot more nutritional value. Okay. So, so these are really good to add to stews. Mm. Um, if you make soup, celery is almost a must to put into your recipe because it contains natural salts. Mm -hmm. So it reduces the, the need for salt in, in a recipe. So if you look at a um, beautiful plate of soup here, mm -hmm. people often say, how do you make that? Yes. And really, you can take this group of ingredients, cut them up, put them in a pot, add some water, maybe a bit of vegetable stock, yes. and just let it cook and then mash it up, or if you have a fancy stick blender, you can blend, and voila, then you, there you've got soup. Is that how easy it is? It is really that easy. So I want to put the challenge out there um, to anybody that has some leftover veg in the fridge yes. or in a vegetable um, shelf, mm -hmm. just cook them together. Um, and add salt and, and pepper to taste, some vegetable stock, and voila, there's a soup. <laughs> it sounds like something I'm going to try pretty soon, if, if it's that easy. And, and that way you can make up your own recipes as well. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got stews, we've got soups. Yes. What else is there? Look, um, stews and soups have a really nice comfort food, soft texture. Yes. But eating vegetables, we can get bored with that. Mm -hmm. So something that I think you like a lot is um, stir fries. And I oh, think you've got a few yes, yes. Because you've it's just crunchy it. and full of flavor and texture. Quick and easy. Yes. yes. So what is your favorite stir fry? Anything that has green peppers, red peppers, orange peppers. Okay, and, there oh, we go. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I promise I wasn't looking. But yeah, these are my ideal ingredients. A bit of broccoli that yes. you just just toss up a little bit with some soy sauce, not too much. That's right. And then, then you can go at it then with your streaks of, of meat, whether it be your beef or your chicken. That's my ideal stir fry. Well, I'm so pleased you get enthusiastic about this because <sighs> You know, you don't have to cut out your meat. You mm. have to eat that yes. still. Um, but it's it's about combining the vegetables. Mm -hmm. And something that can really help bulk up your stir fries mm -hmm. is cabbage. People don't, mm. you, you often find it in stir fries, but when you make it at home, I think we often forget about that yes, one. Yes, that's true. And why I want to mention the cabbage for stir fries in winter is it's fantastic for flavor. It's a winter veg, so it's really um, cost effective yes. to buy. So it, it's a must on okay. your shopping list. So, so far, winter's sounding like quite a feast. We've got the three S's we've got soups, stews, and uh, stir fries. Yes. What else is there? Well, pasta is something I think we all love in winter as well because mm -hmm. it's another comfort food. And if you look at one of our favorites, the spaghetti bolognese, Ooh. that's another way of adding mm. lots of vegetables, even though you wouldn't think it. Yes. In the sauce, which is typically tomatoes, onions, and meat. Mm -hmm. um, you can add lots of vegetables. And um, what you do mm -hmm. is you finely grate your onions, carrots, baby marrows, and finely chopped celery. Yes. And these ingredients really add lots of texture and flavor to your bolognese sauce okay. without the whole family knowing that they're eating more than five vegetables in one dish. Yeah, next thing mom will be hearing around the table is just mm, 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 mm. <laughs> You're like, ha, ha, healthy family, good stuff. 
I'm talking about um, pesto, yes. and pesto being one of my favorite uh, favorite ways of adding flavor. Yes. Um, you don't only have to use basil leaves with um, olive oil and garlic. Mm -hmm. What you can add to that to add vegetable um, nutrition yes. is spinach and broccoli. Okay. So I think Zola has shown before some of the most delicious um, pesto recipes yes. where you steam broccoli and spinach leaves, mm -hmm. blitz it up in your blender with some basil leaves and all the other regular pesto ingredients being garlic cloves, um, olive oil and a bit of pecorino or parmesan cheese. Wow! I can't believe that with just these few ingredients we've already come up with so many ingredients, um, I mean recipes, that you can make over the winter. It sounds like it's going to be quite a creative one. I mean, get in the kitchen and I think also it's going to be fun having the kids involved in there, you know, having them maybe helping you to make some of the ingredients as well. Absolutely. I think they'll be surprised if they're grating the carrots to see it goes into their bolognese sauce. I don't know if we want them to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Andrea, thank you so, so much. Thank you for sharing the creativity and the nutritional tips as well. In fact, if you have any more questions to ask, you're welcome to do so and ask them on Andrea's Facebook page. It's Andrea Duplessis, Vital Expert. Vital Mini Rice Cakes, the better for you bite-sized snack, was voted product of the year for 2014.